Tootie the elephant lives in fluffy gardens. Tootie lives here, a tea trunk house to be precise. Tootie has a big long trunk, like most elephants. And Tootie has big ears, like most elephants. In many ways, Tootie is just like every other elephant. Every way, in fact, except one. Tootie loves to exercise. Tootie loves to jog. He loves to play tennis. He loves to ski. Tootie even loves to go cycling. Here's Tootie doing his aerobics. Have you ever seen an elephant doing aerobics before? Sometimes other elephants might laugh at Tootie when he does aerobics, but Tootie just likes to exercise. Our story begins very early one morning. Chuckles the chicken could be heard telling everyone that it was time to get up. cock a doodle -doo. However, in Tea Trunk House, Tootie's bed was empty. Tootie was already up. In fact, Tootie had already been for a jog, a swim and a game of squash, all before breakfast. He really is a very energetic elephant, isn't he? As Tootie sat down for his breakfast, a little penguin delivered the newspaper. On the front page was a story about a big race through Blueberry Forest. It was a running race, and the winner would get a shiny gold medal. Tootie loved to race. And the other elephants wouldn't laugh so much if he had a shiny gold medal. So, later that day, Tootie began to train for the Blueberry Forest Race. He ran up and down his stairs. He ran around Tea Trunk House. He even ran up small hills. All so that he could run as fast as he possibly could for the Blueberry Forest Race. When the big day arrived, Tootie was very excited. He had trained very hard and really wanted the shiny gold medal. He lined up with the other runners, who all looked very serious. And the race began with a bang! Tootie ran as fast as he could through Blueberry Forest. Some of the runners were getting tired, but not Tootie. He beamed a big smile and passed them all. Deep in Blueberry Forest, Tootie saw Floella the fruit bat. She looked very sad indeed. Tootie didn't like to see Floella so sad, and so he stopped to find out what was the matter. Is something wrong, Floella? asked Tootie in a caring voice. Yes, replied Floella. I dropped the box I was carrying and now I can't find it. Tootie decided to help Floella look for her missing box and peered through some bushes. He found it! Floella was overjoyed. It was a beautifully wrapped box with a big red ribbon on top. It's a present for Wee Reg, she explained happily. Oh, thank you, Tootie, she said, and gave him a big hug before continuing on her way. Tootie got back to his race. He had spent so much time with Floella that one or two of the other runners had passed him by. So he ran especially fast to catch up. A little further down the path, Tootie met Babs the baby bird, who was not her usual bouncy self. In fact, she was crying. Is something wrong, Babs? asked Tootie, who stopped to help. Yes, chirped Babs tearfully. I lost my balloon. Tootie looked up and saw the bright blue balloon stuck in the tree, and he decided to help. 
he found a small ladder, put it carefully against the tree, and rescued the bright blue balloon very slowly so as not to burst it. Babs was overjoyed. Oh, thank you, Tooty, she said as she bounced around happily chirping and cheeping. She gave him a big hug before continuing on her way. Tootie had spent so much time helping Babs that he was now far behind the other runners. He ran and ran as fast as his legs would carry him. But poor Tootie didn't win the gold medal. He had spent so much time helping Fluella and so much time helping Babs that he came third and only got a small bronze medal. Tootie thought that the other elephants would laugh at him because he didn't come first. But they didn't. They all beamed huge grins and said, Well done, Tootie! Then they all cheered. Tootie had done very well to come third. More importantly, he had helped his friends when they were in trouble. And everyone was very proud of him. In fact, Floella and Babs the baby bird got together and baked Tootie a big cake to say thank you. Floella made sure it had plenty of fruit and Babs made sure that it had icing all the way to the top. It was the biggest cake Tootie had ever seen. Of course, Tootie shared the big cake with everyone. If there was a medal for being the happiest elephant in fluffy gardens, Tootie would win gold. Mm -hmm.